What's the first thing you think of when you hit a bad shot? You blame your golf swing. But what if it actually wasn't your swing? What if it was something that you were thinking or maybe doing before you swung the golf club? I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and I can tell you this, I've been lucky. I've made my living teaching people to swing the golf club. And you've watched a lot of my videos on how to swing the golf club, and that's a big part. That's an important part of playing great golf. But I will tell you this, the vast majority of you could drastically lower your scores and improve your enjoyment on the golf course if you had a good pre-shot routine and if you knew what your head was thinking and what you should be doing. So let's dive right into that. First of all, what are some common things that you might be doing that should be red flags for you? Well, first of all, if you hit the ball better on the driving range, where I'm at here today, than you do on the first tee right over there, 50 yards, right over there, it's 50 yards. Great shot here. I walk over there and 15 seconds later, 30 seconds later, I'm hitting bad shots. That's a telltale sign that it's not your golf swing, it's in your pre-shot routine, which I'm gonna show you here in a second what that good pre-shot routine should entail. So that's the first thing that this video would apply to and would be you. The second part might be maybe later in the round. Like, God, I really hit the golf ball well early in the round, but as the day goes on, my swing leaves me, I start hitting poor shots. That's a telltale sign that you do not have the framework in place to get you through all of the rounds. The last one that I see a lot and I see quite often is when we're on the verge, when we're on the verge of a great round, right? We've all been there. You're trying to break 90, you're trying to break 80, you're trying to break 70, win the club tournament, doesn't matter what it is, you got two holes to go and the wheels come off. That's another telltale sign. So those are the three things that you should be aware of. If you hit the ball better in the driving range than you do in the tee box, okay? If you're out playing a round of golf and you notice as the round goes, you get worse, or in those pressure situations, when you have that opportunity to grab and have a great day, it slips away from you. So let's talk about what you should do. And if you haven't done this already, hey, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, what works well for you? because you might be able to help out our fellow golfers. And also, you know, I love hearing where you're from. I love hearing that. We got people, I got somebody from Iceland the other day. We get, we're getting people from New Zealand, all over the globe. We love hearing where you're from and be sure to ring that bell. So let's dive right into it. So the first thing that I want to look for here in a pre-shot routine that you should have is you've got to have something that you do before you walk into the shot. So what do I mean? Well, I have this space back here. This is the space where I make my practice motions and my thought processes. That's different than what happens when I walk up here. The minute I put that club behind the golf ball, I have now moved into a different thought process and a different position, a different area. So let's first of all focus on back here. When I'm behind the golf ball over here, this is an information gathering spot. I'm gathering information. How far is it? Where's the pin? Uphill, downhill, wind, what's my lie like? All of those things, you're in information gathering. Think of yourself, to steal a phrase from Dr. Mo, one of the greatest golf sports psychologists out there, all right? Be a computer, be a thought person. So a lot of you, you probably, if you're analytical, you thrive right here. Man, this is your wheelhouse. You love the analytics, but I'm doing that. Now, when I move over here, now I've got to get in more into the feel. I'm going to talk about what specific things should be in those, but right here, I'm feel. So let me go ahead and go up. So back here, I'm gathering information, distance, pin position, stuff like that. Now, as I move into the golf ball, I have all that computer information, and now I'm going to be an athlete. Now I'm going to get up over the golf ball, and I'm going to feel and I'm gonna react and I'm gonna hit the golf shot. Is that making sense? That's making sense? How about my man Nick behind the camera? Is that making sense? Give me a thumbs up, buddy. Is that, is that, there he is, okay. There he is. You guys love Nick. He's behind the camera every single time, giving us the thumbs up. He likes where we're going with this. I hope you do too. I love hearing from you guys. This is a lot of fun for us. So let's dive into some of the specifics. This video is getting a little longer. It's getting a little longer, I know it, but this is gold information we're gonna talk about. So back here, computer, gathering information, all right? Here's where I want you to also make your practice swings, all right? So once you gather your information, I want you to stand behind the golf ball, I want you to relax your shoulders, 
Specifically, relax your jaw. We carry a lot of tension in the jaw. Relax that. Now, how many practice swings should you make? I don't know. Not zero and not 15. I don't care if it's three, it's four, but, but it should be the same every single time. And here's the one tip. They should be continuous. All right, continuous, right? So if I'm making, I'm gonna say three practice things. You know me, I love my three setters, right? My experienced golfers out there, you know who you are. You've heard this before. So continuous motion, there's one, there's two, there's three. All right, I've gathered my information. I'm walking in. I'm in now athlete mode, feel mode. Boom, and shot. Now. Why three or four, whatever, and why continuous motion? Well, when the club is in continuous motion, it releases tension. It's hard to be in motion and tight and tense. So that's why it should be in continuous motion. Matter of fact, for those of you who subscribe to the channel and know us and been around us for a long time, and I actually have this in, in the book that we just launched a little bit ago, The Bad Lie, Amazon top seller. We're super proud of that. We're super proud of that. Thank you for those of you out there who purchased that. Um, but we did our, we've done a couple videos on our, our continuous motion drill that helps a lot of different things. It kind of bleeds into that same thing. So let's recap and we're going to move into the, what we should be doing over the golf ball. Computer, gather information, one, three, four practice swings, but they're continuous motion. Okay. Now, once you get over the golf ball and you put that club behind it, I want you to aim the club face first and then aim your feet. Okay. First goal, aim the club face, then aim your feet. And now I'm in athlete mode and I'm thinking nothing but feel. So you've heard me talk a lot about this in my video lessons and if you follow any of our stuff and you're in our coaching program, you know this already. And that is when I'm given a lesson, I'm constantly asking my student, what does that feel like? What does that feel like? What does that feel like? Because what I'm trying to draw out from them is what's the sensation that their body has. If I'm trying to get the club more vertical in the backswing, okay, I'm not saying more vertical. I might be telling them more vertical and grabbing it, but I want them to, what does that feel like? And they might say, oh, I feel, Todd, like my left arm is away from my body, or I feel like the club is standing up, or I feel like the club is light. I don't care what it is that you're feeling, but you've got to have a feel. And that's what you do here in the driving range, is you flush out the technique to get to a point where it's the feel. So let's say I want the club to feel light. That's a common phrase that I like to use in the vertical line swing system, because when the club is light, this is light, it's in balance versus that's heavy. It feels heavy in the hands. This is light. Nick, we need to do a video on this as I'm thinking about it, huh? He's nodding me. He likes that. Okay. So I want the club to feel light. So when I get over the ball, that's my feel. So here I am, I'm back behind the golf ball. I've got 165 yards. I'm going to the green flag. No wind today, it's a beautiful day. I've got a perfect lag because I'm on the driving range. Okay, but it's 165 yards. I've got my eight iron. So I've gathered my information. I'm relaxing my shoulders. I'm relaxing my jaw. One, two, three. I'm coming in. Aim club face, aim feet. And now all I'm focused on is I'm gonna feel the club light. Oh yeah, I'll take that every single time. So when you hit a bad golf shot, it might be your swing. That's why you tune into US Golf TV, but it might not be your swing. It might be what you're doing before you swing the golf club.